Okay. Welcome to the program. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. To some of you, according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland radio Biafra here in Biafra land where I am broadcasting from thank you I remember the fellow CIPB evangelist Maz I am from Ndiabo Ndiabo is in Anenri Anenri is a local government in Ojiriba province Biafra land I am a homeland broadcaster under a POB. Nambikan is our leader. And he is still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement. Illegally detained. Thank you. Illegally detained. Share the program very wide. Share it very, very wide. You are welcome. I am sharing the program. That's what I am doing here exactly. So let us go to the topic. Let us go to the topic. The topic is the agenda. Sorry, the description of the program there is the agenda. Then the topic is separate him, then destroy that IPOB that he leads. As simple as that. This message is coming to our people for them to not be carried away with the agenda of the enemy. This very time around, some people don't understand the game. Though they understood it earlier, but they are trying to dance into the tune of the enemy by acting as if they have run out of patience. No. If you run out of patience by believing the lies that people come to dish out or activities that people are carrying out or on in the name of Nam Dekano because somehow they have access to Mazen Nam Dekano and because of that you are now asking yourself why is Nam Dekano supporting them? Why is Namdekan not doing anything? Why did Namdekan not condemn this? Why did Namdekan not say this? He must say this. He is supposed to say this. He was in the opportunity to say it. He was in the court to say it. Why did he not say it? He need to clear it. He need to make it clear. <laughs> One day, you are dancing into the tune of the enemy. That is exactly the agenda. They want you to run out of patience so that you stop believing him. You start doubting him so that people will have will use that time, that period they are detaining him to start doing things. Remember that there are damage controls. Just like siblings of our leader, all the places they cause, all everything they knew that they did, do you know the only defense they have? Make sure that those that will give account to Nam De Kano, make sure they are not in the position. Are you not aware? So you don't know. So you don't know that 
there is a place Mazi Chike Dosen will be, he cannot explain to Khan, Mazi Namde Khan. You must be in IPOB. You must be there before you can tell him anything. If you are outside IPOB, if Khan Untande Meme push you outside IPOB, you can never explain to Mazi Namde Khan. You will there be outside. They will now put somebody that will now replace you to explain to Khan and every lie he presented because the person is in the position to explain to him. That is why anybody that resigns from IPOB or anybody that is suspended or anybody that is expelled, every of his noise have no meaning. You must do it in IPOB. Then we will now say something. That's why somebody resigned before and later came back because he know, know that if he starts saying that thing, that attack outside, nobody will value him. They will say he's a runaway. So he, he just... He just use a tortoise brain and return so that he will be inside the IPOB and do the attack. When he came, I told our people, stop. Wait. No, we only had there. Has he do something? Do such stuff. He don't want to attack you outside. If he attack you outside like which before, nobody will value him. He wants to do it inside. Then after doing it, he left. So that is it. Then there is, if you are not a coordinator of a zone, another person is now the coordinator of that zone. Do you think you, if the person is the coordinator of at least six months, you have something to come and explain to Kanu? No. The person that is in position when he's out will tell him something that happened. That's the game Kanu Tanko is playing. That's what him and their conspirators, their own group are playing. They played rough. They deal, they destroy things. Then they don't want those people that will tell them they can those people that are with evidences. They don't want them to be in position. That is why you see them jumping up. But those people must be in position to expose what they did. They must be in position. That's what we said. To expose what you did because they have evidences. If they are outside the IPOB, their evidences will be will not be regarded. So they must be here. That's why I told our people, make sure you are here. Make sure you are inside this house. That is when you have something to tell us. If you are outside this house of IPOB, you tell us you was with IPOB, but they do me this thing, I was, I left them. Oh God, you don't have something to present. You have nothing to give us. You have nothing to say. You are, you become, you are a useless idiot because you left the house. Right? So let us continue. The agenda. Separate him, one, that is keep him in comrigado. Then, confront the organization that he makes mouth out with. If you destroy IPOB, then you have succeeded. That's why, when they were filing application, that an American should be transferred to Kujé, go to Barista Ejofo, their own team and this um Ejimakos team. I told them these people will not give they will not allow them to come to Kuja. They will not allow him. They don't want him. They have cut off all those assets he has before in the other arrest. They cut it off, they block it, they, all those ones. When he was in Kuja, he held meetings, he invited people, he settled matters. He issue orders face to face. He will tell you to invite this person. The person will come. All of you will have issue. Namdi can invite you in Kuja. He will handle the matter. Do you understand? He was free. Like they saw him that he was free in Kuja. This time around, I told them earlier, they want to separate him completely. That every... Only those few people they allow to see Nam Kano were people that will be seeing him. But before in Kuja, people will have access to visit him. File up, fill application. If you fill application, it will get to him. If he sees you, he will give order you will come in. You should come in. That is one benefit with this um, uh, prison facility. Prison uh, uh, facility, yes. You will be free there. You will make choices of visitors. They kept him in DSS so that the separation 
can be maintained because keeping an American in Kuja, there is nothing like separating him from IPOB. He will still hold meetings. Then people can visit him without the consent of the federal government because only the prison authority will now be there. So they kept him in DSS so that federal government will decide on his health, decide in his visitation, decide on everything he's doing. Federal government to get information of what he is discussing with his um, organizations. He will be in DSS. That's the target. But people don't understand. I told them earlier, this man will not be granted bail. Everything they allowed him to do before, they will not allow him now. For them to commit international offense, extraordinary rendition, when the Nigeria is prepared. They knew the offense they committed, but it was do or die. That's what they decided. Because they have nothing to tell their citizens. The reason why they fell. So they want to use Biafra agitation. Nigerian government want to use Biafra agitation as a presentation to their citizens that we will use your money to fight Biafra agitation. I say we stop Biafra now, start stop on Nam Are you not happy? You'll be rejoicing and you see the idiot, they will jump up. Yes. Thank God, the presidency, they use our resources to fight Biafra. It's better instead of war. They use our resources. That was the target. They do do or die. The Buhari's government was defeated by Namdekano. Biafra almost came under the, the government of Buhari. Biafra was there. So in order to give excuse to their citizens, they want to hold Namdekano because they have nothing to present. They have nothing as an excuse why their citizens are suffering. So the only excuse is that they use their resources to fight their fragmentation. And the idiots will believe. But IPOB have defeated them. They have nothing to present. That's why you hear them. We want to protest. We want to protest because these politicians now have no excuse again. They have nothing to present to their citizens. If not, this present time, IPOB would have been there and they would be making mouth. Ah, we we'll stop IPOB. Even if they will spend the whole money and stop IPOB. Do you know who IPOB is? We stop on them, they can. We use our resources to do. That would have been, that is, this, that's what they would have been boosting off. But here we are today. So the agenda is keep him away from this. Keep him away completely. Right? Then, Confront the organization that he makes him out with. Namdekan is not the tiger. He's not a giant alakuku. His strength is IPOB. He said, IPOB is the organization that funds Radio Biafra. And this very IPOB that I lead will restore Biafra. Are you understanding? He never separates himself from IPOB. He leads IPOB. His IPOB, IPOB is him. Now, IPOB is the only, like, only organization that Nigeria has seen that operates in their territory and they have no power in that organization. They can never control the organization. It's a very big problem to Nigeria. Nigeria controls full and enhancement terrorists. Tell them where to go and attack. Nigeria protects full and enhancement terrorists. They use army, they use police, they use their law. Nigeria protects Boko Haram. They are aware of the organization. Nigeria told you that Boko Haram and Banditry is better than IPOB because they have no access to IPOB. It's a very big problem to a country. An organization that you cannot even sneak in and begin to change their way of doing things. It's impossible. If you go against it, they will sack you. You will be outside making noise. Do you understand? A very serious organization that can hold the government down without a gun because you cannot break them and take over the power. That's what government need. If that if ESN is an a security outfit like other vigilante that government have access to, like local government, I've seen it, all these people they have access to it. 
Like they have in other vigilantes. They control vigilante. You say this is an ambassador vigilante. You will see one local government chairman that can call them on phone and say, go and do this thing. You will see a House of Assembly member will control them and say, go and, hey, honorable is calling us. The, the commander, uh, the security head will say, ah, honorable is calling us. Do you understand? But to ESN, there's no such thing. So it's a problem to them. The value the land of north to be taken over because they can control anything happening there at least somehow you can meet them you cannot meet ESN so that is a problem that's why people don't understand when you see anybody or any insider or outsider or any kind of person that attack IPOB or ESN of any kind there is no reason to justify it. There is no ground to do so, whether in or outside. There is no reason because we have never gotten such thing like IPOB before. Nothing. What did Ambassador Amechi say? He told you, if we lose IPOB, we are gone. A, an organization that the federal government of Nigeria have no access. They cannot appoint leaders. They cannot nominate officers for us. It's a, thing, a very big problem. There is no way of penetration. That's why they plotted infiltrators. People don't know the problem of Funam Dekano. His case is that he formed the IPOB. A very serious force that the federal government cannot assess. Do you understand? So, people should not run away, um, should not run out of patience, should not disappoint in Namde Kano by if somebody come and lie to you, you will believe. No. Don't judge in Namde Kano why he's in detention. Don't ever try that. That is the reason why he was separated. He was separated that people will even do what they cannot do in his presence. They will do it. Even he was separated so that there will be few people that can tell you few things. He was separated so that your matters will be lingering to be settled. Because it is in the life of our people. Some of our people are, are eye service followers. If you are not there, they cannot obey instructions. They are eye service. Do you understand? They will be trying, they will allow matters to linger. So they will be expecting Nam Dekano to come and talk to them. Do you understand? But they, when they go to school, they go to the class, they will allow the teacher to teach them instead of the headmaster. Instead of the uh, waiting for the headmaster to come and they teach you. You believe in the teacher that teaches your class. And you believe, you believe well, if you have issue, the headmaster will settle it. You no longer teach. We continue. So, that is why you see some people who act as if that they don't know what they are doing. All of them knew. Everybody knew what he's doing. Nobody's a child. People should not run out of patience. Because it is time of manipulation. Muslim Khan can never fail. Don't expect him to jump into issues of then say, then say. Namdi Khan can never handle matter with them say. Why he talk about the Eberima criminal, even written letter, was because there are politicians who keep coming. Plus, if I need your that keep bringing reports because Ejimako does not bring reports. They only go there to cover Namdekan so that the crime of Ebirima will chop the head of Namdekan. They will go there and pet him and tell him it's only him doing something. Until the message keeps coming to Namdekan, he now discovered that they are lying. That's how he discovered though, that he has tried, he has separated the criminal. Through a job, if you go to media and search, 
Anytime Nnamdi can disassociate self with the criminal base in Finland, you will go, you will see that it is Barite Jofo. You can never see a Jimako saying Nnamdi can disassociate. No. He told you that they are together. They are the same. Do you understand? So that is it. And Mazen Namdekano understood that there must be lies. But because you are in detention, as I have told our people, that somebody that is in detention need that person that used to visit him. Whether you manage his messages very well or wrong, he still needs you. That is the best, the highest avenue of a detainee, that visitor. They don't joke with them. Do you understand? When they come out, they handle their matters. But at the moment in detention, that access he has to outside, either message from outside or to send message to outside, those that used to visit him, he, they, they, somebody in detention values them. Now, in the case of Mazinam Khan, I keep explaining that the family can never go in his presence and present what they are doing here. Understand this. They know that if they present what they are doing, he will discover they are going against IPOB structure. So they will always play to be right before him. Do you understand? Because there are the people that will be visiting him. Lawyers can be changed, but the siblings cannot be changed. Are you understanding? So they believe that they will keep pushing, they will keep pushing, they will keep pushing, and they will present themselves in the manner that Nam Dekanu knows them with. They can never present what they are doing outside. Understand this thing. Understand this thing and have peace and push on. Don't judge Nam Dekanu in detention. You have, unless you have not been in detention before. I have been there for four years awaiting trial. I was decided and acquitted. Do you understand? They will destroy your things. Some will destroy it in the name of they want to do it better. Some will destroy it in um, intentionally. Some will even prolong your detention because they still want to destroy things. They want to lavish your, resor your resources. They want to lavish your investment. Some of them will even remove your senior apprentice that is holding to your instruction. Your senior apprentice, they will remove their senior apprentice. They will pick the junior one and promote him or them so that he can give them access to money. They can even pursue your wife. They can even pursue your wife. While you are in detention because they want to sell your property. Because they want to sell your land. Because they want to sell your vehicle. They need the documents. Your wife will not allow them. So they need to sack her from the family because of their selfish interest. This is what somebody in detention goes through. Lies will come. Truth will come. Somebody in detention does not decide completely. That is what Nnamdi Khan is passing through. Do not judge him with the activities of the siblings because he does not know their outside activities. He does not know. You that is here have seen their ugly activities. You are the one that will mark it. Then they will go there and still play their normal life. Nnamdi Khan knows them with. They will go there and play it. There is nothing you can present to Nnamdi Khan. He will judge them. Until he comes out. And who will present what happened to him? People that should be in position to present it. If you are outside position and outside the IPOB, you can never present it again. By then, Kanonta have put people that will tell you what happened. Thank you. No, <laughs> That's my, my son. Yeah. What you say, you can? Yeah. What you say, you can? Uh huh. You're not too cool, Nanka. We continue. Thank you.
and every holiday. So that is it. So you must understand the condition that the Kano is. Obodi we we Kano akwe country no verse no mama no papa. Hence you are inside there. Now the worst one is that they kept him in a solitary confinement, a very dangerous one. If he's in detention, is in prison custody, in the morning he will come out in the premises. Inmate will be hailing him. Inmate will greet him. He will now hear cases of inmate. He will now handle cases. In prison yard in the morning, you will come for sunny. In the morning, you come out for sunny. Right? So people will go and lie, people will go and play nice to Kano and come out and play rough. Then when they present matter to Kano, Kano will decide on what they presented to him. It is you that is outside. Who knows what you discuss with Mazen Nam the Kano? You will hold on it. Understand this because he will blame you if you allow them, because you bring IPOB code of conduct, you will not see lawyer, you will not see sibling. You go to IPOB chain of command. You will only see unit coordinator. You will see zonal coordinator. You will see local government coordinator. You will see senatorial coordinator. You will see state coordinator. You will see national. You will see continental. You will see head of the state of state. You can never see sibling. You can never see family. You can never see lawyer. These are the places he will judge you with. That is why if you see those that are mentally equipped that Nam Dekan is telling you about, if you see them defending what we agreed on, even in the absence of Nam Dekan, even as you may come in to do it with a hyper reality face mask, you look like a can who will not allow you. It's impossible. There is what we call, or how do I call it? Is it absolute integrity or what? Well, how do I? That we believe in it. Do you understand? So what we agreed is what we do. Lawyer will come and on this national television and tell you that Nam the Kanu follower and the followers of forever are the same. He will go there and tell Kanu that his followers have left him. Understand this thing. This is mind game. That's why he was not kept in Kuje. If they keep him in Kuje. You can have access to that place. You will keep writing application until Namdekano will accept it. He handled matters in Kuje. He used to invite us. We come, he will handle matter. The government of Nigeria don't want to give him such access again. They now put him in a place where few people visit him and whatever they say outside is what you take. They forgot that IPOB is an organization who have a way of operation. There is no contrary that will penetrate in that leadership. There is no error in the leadership of IPOB that will succumb to pressure. We always stick on what we agreed. And that is where Namdekano will judge you. He cannot condemn their, his siblings. He cannot even kill them when they are out. But he will condemn attitude of anybody who went against IPOB code of conduct, IPOB chain of command, and whoever challenged the leadership of IPOB, he will condemn it. There are he may present general condemnation. He may present general condemnation. He may not go specifically. He will just incite, right? He may just incite. Hey, maybe either from my family, or either from this, or either from that, right? I condemn it in totality. He may say so, in actual personally, then him and leadership will go inside and discuss what happened. He will now use gradually to be handling issues. He cannot jump into it. Now, if Namde Khan is that, he cannot handle matter anyhow. Talk more of when he's in detention. Don't you see that when age of four was there, if the age Marco and the Kanunta and the Meme go there and lie, right to him, if he approves their lie based on what they told him, the leadership will reply our leader through by the stage of four. And immediately our leader will understand the language of what is happening. He will not repeat it again. 
and the Kanota and Co will come on their their gang and be selling. Obey the obey onion do onion do order should be obeyed, but the leadership have communicated onion do. He never repeated it again. Do you understand? But they will stitch on the former, the first one through their false information. Our leader granted them, right? Because they never play rough in his presence. They live, they always try to play nice. But he don't know their characters here. Understand the game. Do you understand? So, he gives them instruction based on the presentation they came with. That is his access of communicating outside. Access of getting information. He cannot cut it off. I've been in detention. It is not easy to cut it off. Somebody would be in, I've been in detention. The wife, oh, he had been in detention for two years and, and the wife came there with pregnancy. Is he the man? Is he the man that pregnant? Uh, they have uh, no. Uh, is your uh, his friend now? Nah? I told him he's your friend. Who told him? Who told her that um you have been jailed? Oh, no. okay, so, no, no, okay. Who told? Who told? Gabate, me Who told her that you have been jailed? That you did not tell him truth. Uh, you did not tell her truth. So they will go and lie to your wife. And they will tell your wife that you you are you are, you are not sure you are coming out. They will now play good. They start helping your wife. From there, they deceive her. So he want he wanted to say that the wife will not come again. I told him that it is not now that you handle this matter when you are outside. How many people are coming for you? This is your wife that you used to message, right? Don't judge her now. Somebody deceived her. If she is wicked, why is she still coming? If she have abandoned you, why is she still coming, bringing you pure water, bringing you food, bringing you this? So don't look at his deceive. She, uh, somebody that deceived her and pregnant her. That one is a separate matter. She will explain. But for now, don't cut off your source of passing message, your source of receiving information because it will be very hard for you. It's a very dangerous psychological world. You will become mad. Go to detention. People are somebody that is nice today. Tomorrow the person will be running mad. Lack of communication. Direct people that will know your problem. Never you conclude on unam the can with the actions of the siblings. What they play outside, they don't play it when they go to Kuja. Understand this game and make sure you fight on. These are things I have experienced. They will damage your account, your money in the account. They will sack your senior apprentice and take over because the senior refused them from assessing your money. They will even sack your wife. I mean your siblings. I mean your family. Even your mother. They may be too interested in money. They will see that time as a chance. How to know somebody if you want to know how your tail will be when you die. It is somebody that is in detention that will at least that is testing. If you come out from detention, you will see how they handle your things. You begin to say, Hi, imagine if I'm dead. You are still alive, oh, you are in detention. <laughs> but they will deal with your things. If you have those wicked ones, they will even play a game to extend your detention so that they can sell your filling station. So that they can sell your cars and give you reason that they use it to do your case. And when you want to jump up, people by the side will, tell, will ask you, is it not good? Is it not better now that you are alive? You are out, you are alive. They will tell you, you will recover it. That life is the best. Life is not easy. By then, they have destroyed your things. They have destroyed everything you have. As you see me, I started afresh. I didn't come, I came back to township with nothing. After I came from, I came out from detention. They destroy everything. Bam. What do they have to tell you? <laughs> okay, you are going to kill them. Now, if that is an organization like IPOP, and if they destroy it, what will be the fate of the people? This is what you ask yourself. And you know you can yoke okay your people. No. Now, who will end up the kind of hood? Those in charge of the organization, not his family. Because the family is doing it to save his life. That's what he will present to you. 
You are the one who could let them know that they are doing mistake. If they fail, you block them from destroying what we agreed, the future of the people. It's a very simple game we played. Very simple thing we understand in Abia Koromino. The same they love from Sebele and Kariaya. Why they got one Surai and one Afaruku? Is it not because of everybody? Both siblings, both parents, both in the can. Is that not why they kid us? So how come you are now separating? You are now the one who loves sibling, but you are not ready to die for sibling. You are in abroad. You are not ready to die for them. Oh. The same people that die for them are the people you are not. I, I, I think, can you love them? They can't more than his sibling. Even a mad idiot. Your brain is too low. Very low brain. Something in our hand in our Excuse me, let me sip some water. Why this kind of topic is coming is that I am a Kwebai Luru Ogwa, Ogwa Ayo Meligo Kwao. Namdekano is an innocent man. You need to maintain it in freedom fighting. That will give you a grant to discuss. If you are a convict, your discussion will be under, under amnesty. There is something you point out, they will tell you, you see, because we, we release you. Do you understand? You will not be free to talk. An innocent freedom fighter is what we try to maintain. And the innocent free, um, freedom fighting movement. Simple. Our matter, we can, they can invite us to any organization, any international organization. Nothing to block us. The black men, the black, the, the, we are not terrorists. So we can be accepted. In any organization, in any gathering, in a, in U, EU, in UN, not to block on them, they can anywhere you want our mother to be taken to, we, we will come there. We are not rebels, we are not terrorists. These are things we make sure we maintain to make sure that because these things will happen, Nam they can will be with the four men of the world. So if he become a terrorist leader, right? Confirmed. Because people are acting in his absence, in, with his name. It is you that will separate, separate that activities of criminals from Namdekano. Then if they now tag him terrorists, it is normal. It is normal on freedom fighting, but you should not commit it. Go and ask. Go and investigate. Some people tell you, if they call you terrorists in freedom fighting, is it, it is not wrong. Yes, but if you are a terrorist in freedom fighting, it is wrong. But if they call you, consider it. Calling you terrorist is normal. Right? But if you are a terrorist, you act it. It is no longer calling. You are now a terrorist. It is different. Yes, they tag Mandela. They called Mandela terrorist. Did he act terrorism? The answer is no. They called him the kind of terrorist. Did he act terrorism? The answer is no. So, why do you want to act terrorism with his name? Allow the, before he was kidnapped, they have called him terrorist. He did not act anything. There was no ESN 2017. So, why are you now acting terrorism with his name? Do you want him to be terrorist? They called him terrorist. is different from him being terrorist. This is something, a mentality that our people lack. They lack it. They hear a word, they start clapping. Yes, if you're a freedom fighter, you'll be called terrorist. I'm saying you will. Calling terrorists and being terrorists is the same. They call you terrorists that you act terrorist. They tag IPOB number 10 in the terrorist list, right? IPOB went and destroyed it. They removed us. If we are terrorists, it is not tag. Can you remove full enhancement terrorists from the tag? No, because they act it. They act it. They committed terrorism. If IPOB commit terrorism, it is no longer they call them the kind of terrorism. Don't you hear what they call, say in court? They are charging them the kind of terrorism. They called Mandela terrorist. He did not commit terrorism. They will call you as a freedom fighter. Yes. But for you to commit it, when you fail, are you understanding? Now you have to understand what we are fighting. Now, I am here, Mary of Mofma. I am a law mistake war. So, now the kind is an innocent man that anywhere Nigeria wants our matter to be taken to his ready. 
He's an innocent man. Nobody will say, no, 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 don't bring the terrorists here. No, 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 no. no. This is the image Nigeria wanted to give him. You don't know. When people gather and start raising funds with the name of ESL, and when they are raising this fund, they will tell you, ah, eh, eh, the men, the men who are going to fight Nigeria army, they are going to defend our land. Our men is going to free Namdi Kano. He will, they will free our leader, which you know that ESN have not, does not do that. Yes, I have a duty. Now, what are they trying to do? They are raising funds, and they will tell you that they are going to they are going to send it home to use it to support them. It is not the same presentation with IPOB. IPOB will tell you that our men will defend our land against Fulani has men terrorists marauding in our bushes and farmland, raping our mothers, destroying our farmland, taking our land by force, kidnapping our people. These are things presentable to the world, which they knew the story. They knew Nigeria compromised to terrorists. Now, these people will come and tell you that the one they are raising for is to fight army. It is completely wrong, unpresentable. That's what Lai Mohammed was using and taking to international community. You don't know. There is nothing IPOB do that Lai Mohammed can take to international community. He was only lying until these people started. He now started presenting it. Do you know what they wanted to do? To cut the financing of any kind from international to eastern region. They will tag any money anybody in abroad is sending to the eastern region as supporting terrorism. Our people will suffer here. Some of things going on in our land are money from abroad. Things are not going on here. If you know, you come here, we are here. Some of things are happening here. Some of the our people in abroad that suffer. If they send the money, they will change it here. Money will fully, they will, do, they will start, our people, some of these things going here, money from abroad. With the activities of a they will stop it. But you were clapping. You cannot send money here. They will say it's a terrorist. They will make policies. No money will come here. If you send money from abroad, you answer question before you take it. So these are things. The Lai Muhammad will succeed. They will tell you you are supporting terrorism. When we saw this thing, we started explaining to our people that hey, our, we, we must support our men. Our men must support our men. Was fought, fight the army. You fight army. Is that what Namdekan announced? Is that what IPOB presents in their fundraising? To fight army? No, it is to fight full and yes, men. Go and consider the two statements. But because of your emotion, you say, Yes, I contribute to ESL. Let them go and do something. You want to give them another image. We know their job, the world knows their job. It is not contrary. But you want to say that they are now confronting army, it's not their duty. They have a special duty, and that is where they remain. All those things was to implicate in Namdekano. Why? Because the enemy have kept him aside. Right? Keep him away, then destroy his organization. Even if you release him, he'll become useless. A very simple mathematics. He cannot start afresh. He cannot start afresh to organize people to have another IPOB around Abonya. That's why the enemy have prepared a criminal already. Who will be who will kill the Biafra struggle? Their target is if they destroy an IPOB, if they release Nam the Kano, this one will tell him to go and lead his IPOB, that this one is now his own group. Do you understand? And government will now be carrying his news. Right? By then, there will be no radio Biafra. Even if you start another one, this enemy will be telling you he's a sabo that he collected money. Immediately, Namdeka will be out. The criminal in Finland will tell you, will lie against him that he collected money. By then, there's no more IPOB. That's why they prepare him and keep him ready. They are still hoping they will destroy IPOB. That's why they are hoping on siblings because the effort of the criminal have failed. So what they do is to keep him as rival. Either if they destroy IPOB, he will start the business agitation. Right? Uh -huh. And make sure that our people hate Biafra. That's the plot. They are fighting in many ways. The criminal is to make sure our people 
is against Biafra. And the criminal is also to make sure that Biafra is all about five states. That's where they operate. Understand the game. I need my chair. I need my chair. Thank you. Thank you. So that is the game. They did not take, take him to Kuje. I told them earlier, he cannot go to Kuje. If he goes to Kuje, instead of Nigeria to send an American to Kuje, it's better they obey court order. What are they sending him to Kuje for? To do what? To start to lead the IPOB from Kuje? No, now they need to separate him. And use people they will use. Those people that are giving you bad mind, which is the target of the government, to frustrate you with the activities of siblings, which they can have no knowledge of. What he knows is what they discuss with him in Kuje. But what they are in DSS, if they come out, what they are acting Namdekano don't know. Never you judge Namdekano with the ugly activities outside his knowledge. This is a, something you must hold because it is a weapon from the government. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. Don't believe it. This is why this message is coming. Because your man will stay by stage. People that will go there and play now. Okay, man, our parents have died in this thing. You are the only one we have. So what uh, IPOB is doing now is not what you are going to have. What you are doing now is we love you. You are the only thing we have. So we want you to be free. Uh, that is why we are doing all these things. Do you know that they will go and apologize for your enemy without your consent? When they have been in detention. They don't know your mind. They will not tell you. They will not consult you. They will even go and ginger the enemy. How? In the name of apologizing to him. So that he will free you. After you go there, the enemy will now say, okay, so they, they have ended. They are now begging you. He will now call the prosecutor. State or federal council, according to level of your case, if you are having federal case or state case, either state council or federal council, which is in the which is the lawyer of the complainant, automatic lawyer of the complainant because the person defends or prosecutor. This is council or state council or federal defends the police statement that allegation. That's what the prosecutor is there to defend. Your lawyer is to defend you against that allegation. So the complainant can relax. The only person the complainant can give bribe or give money is the prosecutor. So prosecutor eats two ways. Eat from complainant, eat from the accused. Automatically, he represents the federal government or the state government. According to the, the case, the category or something, either state case or federal case, federal high court or state high court. Thank you. So that is it. Keep him in Comunicado. Scatter his organization. They don't know that Namdekano trusted IPOB. One, if, it, if you don't know that Namdekano know that DOS will never destroy, allow IPOB to be destroyed. He believes whatever you come and tell him in detention, if he give you, if he make wrong decision, that DOS will not allow you. This is something Namdekano knows about. Until you know it, you will not know. You will not have no peace. That's why they destroy themselves. Do you know when Canon Tanko destroyed themselves? When Paris de Joffo was no longer taking our message to our leader. That's when their agenda died. That's when the Onion do said died that they used to deceive our people with. That's when a Jamaica no longer has press release. Because he that cannot present IPOB head of the United of state normally in his press release, he said one chica idosium, right? So now how can he take message receive message from our leader to go and begin to publish and say onion do say? A man I can, can no longer say onion do said. He, as they were deceiving people before. He will now try to call people and say, onion do is no longer working with them. 
is now doing this, is now doing that, but you don't have access to Radio Biafra. Onindu can never give you access to Radio Biafra. So where is the trust? He can never cut off his parents, his siblings. He can never even kill them. He can never blame them on IPOB. That is, if you allow them to destroy IPOB. He can only blame them if IPOB is intact, if he, when he is out. That's when you can be on your ground and present what they did. If they defeat you destroying IPOB, you will be the blame. You will bear the blame. That is the game they are playing. Because they have nothing to defend the, what they have done. So what they have to do is to push away those in position who can present what they did. Push them away. Replace them with another people. Who will now furnish their crimes to Onyendu? So our people must understand this. Stop judging an American with what people is playing outside his knowledge. He don't know. He don't know about it. They will go there and play good. No, you do man, you are happy. Anyone are a log. Do as a happy go go. Radio Biafra is not talking about you. Give us order to open the deal. Give us order. Onion do was deciding on what they presented. The best friend to a detainee is the visitor. He who always come to see him. That's his source of personal information. He cannot cut it off. That is the source of receiving messages. Even if you hide his information, he will keep sending. If not for politicians, who visit age of four, took to Namdekan as witnesses, he wouldn't have write a written note to the criminal overseas at home. Ejimako and Kam, Imane Kano was hiding the activities of the criminal because they wanted Namdekan to be implicated. It was when the message keep coming, both senator, both to Lasse, both to other people, who keep visiting him, telling him what is happening. That's when he begin to say, ah, I'm the one coming from a job. Because these people was there. That's when he said, okay, something is wrong, which means these people are lying to me. Because he believed in those ones coming, which means these people cannot conspire and say they are killing our people with sit at home. He now believed those senators. Do you understand? He now believed and start pushing. He keep condemning it. He keep condemning it. So don't expect the American to come out in some issues and start saying about it. No. Everything he had is them say, them say. He cannot decide fully on them say until he come and witness it. The them say we are talking about is in selecting them say. Not in a place where people will accept, where he can be accessible with real information. But at the moment, where he is, are selected people who will come and say. So when they come out and start going against what he told them, if we can be fighting criminals and you hear Barrister Joffre publishing what Namdekanu said about the criminal, now you will now see a WhatsApp messages that uh, Ejimako is having with the same criminal. You will now know that they have been lying to Kanu. Because of the activities of Ejimako, Kanu Tameme, with the criminal base in Finland, there is nothing that came from them you should believe. If they can be supporting the criminal, even when and ask for a slot for him. He will be boasting he's in the heart of Namdekano why it is a Jimako, Kanonta, and the Meme. Namdekano gave him slot. Before DOS will hear it, they have messaged him, which is wrong, contrary to IPOB code of conduct. These are confusion they said. They thought they have arrived. They don't know that the spirit that is in IPOB leadership will cut their hand off. They cannot penetrate the radio. Now, if Namde cannot trust anybody, go and mark it somewhere. The highest people that Namde cannot trust are the people that have the password to Radio Biafra. You see Radio Biafra? Okwa Yanan don't Namde If 
you are a family member, you have never been an IPOB, a sibling, you have never been appointed in any position in IPOB, you have never been linked to Radio Biafra. You don't know. You cannot issue IPOB press release. You can never sign it. You can never sign IPOB memo. Oga, you only have, now they can have only family trust on you. Not on freedom fighting trust. Right? I trust my family in what we are doing or in our family issues. I trusted them. But in this Biafra issue, how can I tell you uh, if I have issue now? I will be, I will now be uh, my my siblings will now come and take over. What do they know? We are uh, what do they know? I will explain everything to my organization. I will also tell my siblings the one I can tell them. Do you understand? It is different. My trust to my family members on family issues is different. The trust Namdi cannot have to his family or siblings on freedom fighting is also different because he never allowed them to link in to Radio Biafra. None of his siblings can log into Radio Biafra. None of his siblings have also been in the, the forum of Radio Biafra. Like, let me just say, WhatsApp group of Radio Biafra. None of his siblings have been a unit coordinator. None of his siblings. So he now trusted them when he is in Kuja. None can never trusted you on freedom fighting issue when he was outside to make you a coordinator. So that is a defensive statement of somebody who committed crime. Somebody who told you that Onion is in the, in the, in the mountain praying. What do you want him to present to you? He will tell you that Onion trusted him. Because their plan, they knew Namdi Khan will spend the years. So they would believe their lives will succeed. It didn't succeed because there are hard costs here and the hardest one. So if you want to fall into the trap of the enemy, begin to conclude on the activities of siblings in the absence of Namdi Khan outside here. What they play here in their life is not what they play when they visited Namdekan. One question to you, if you can want to doubt us. Do they go there with their phone? No. Then how do Namdekan know what they used to post? Do Ejimako go with his phone? No. How do Namdekan know what he's used to post? Do Namdekan listen to his live broadcast and his interview on national news? No. So how do you conclude on what they are saying outside Namdekan or what they are doing outside Namdekan's knowledge as linked to Namdekan? No. Now, if they go and lie to Mazin and if he take decision based on their lies, he believes that as far as it concerns IPOB, that the leadership will not allow you. This is one thing that Namdekano trusted. He had been with the leadership, he decides in their absence, and when he comes to them, they will correct him, they will say, him, this thing will affect us. Look at, look at, look at, look at. That's how they run IPOB. He's not in Namoha. He will bring matter there. They will say, they will discuss it. They will say, oh, you look at the danger on this. Look at the danger. Look. He will say, okay, 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 okay. And he will just stop. The same thing he believes that in his absence, even if he make wrong decisions based on what his siblings or anybody present to him, he know that if they go there, if it is contrary to what the leadership is doing that they will stop it. This is his trust. And you that will disappoint him is the person who will be judging him based on the activities he has no knowledge of. You don't blame him with that. You can only blame him when he comes out and you have you explain very well. You cannot even blame him then. What you need to do is to support him and restore Biafra. Simple. Because we must have a, we must be having issues until we restore the effort. So that's why that thing Namdekano will come to damage. That's what and uh, what that thing sorry Namdekano will come to do damage control. Is what DOS don't want. 
because it will deal with us. There will be no time to be doing such damage control. So, they first of all stop that damage instead of coming to control it. It will be a problem to us. So, what we are saying is that you should maintain the very lane we are in. You are the one that will disappoint Nam the Kano if you believe in the activities of the enemy. If somebody can go on national television and look at somebody Nam the Kano is right later even messaging people that he should stop killing our people. He, he reads IPOB press releases where we condemn activities of criminals. He had from Ozokome, where he said, my client clearly told me that he's not in support of the sit at home and that he's not sending anybody to do sit at home. Ozokome said it. Have you heard it from Ejimako? Tell me one day. Just show me one. Now, they keep promoting the criminal before Onyendu. If not for Uzukume, that keep bringing reports, Abaribe, all those people, Olase, that visited him, Ejimako will keep deceiving Namdekanu with the activities of the criminal until Ojide Namdekanu no lo. It would have been too late. It was through Ejofo that Namdekanu keep presenting, I have nothing to do with him and IPOB. That's because Ejimo, Ejofo will go and say the truth. Namdekanu will reply and tell him what he will write. Ejimako will go and lie, him and the Kanunta. Do you understand? So Namdekanu was at the middle. He cannot just decide fully like that. He discovered what is going on, but he will not decide. What he did, when he now started, he now decided to push what very well was when outside from IPUB, outside from his lawyers, started coming. Abalibe, Olase, so many other senators, other Igbo people. Other. He now confirmed that these people are lying to me on the activities of the criminal. Now ask yourself, what are they trying to block now by Kano, Emana Kano's activities? They want to remove those that are supposed to be in position and explain to Nam De Kano because you can only say things that we can regard when you are in IPOB. You cannot be outside IPOB, you'll be explaining to us. We don't take it, it's useless to us. Why do you run away? Why do you get out? So that's why they want to push those out. They want to push the leadership that are in position with evidences of what they committed here. Which have the right to present it to Namde Kano. Me, I cannot meet with Kano and give it to him. Do you understand the game? So, do not... Do not be concluding on our leader on the activities of people who visits him. They do not present their tweet to him when they visit him. They do not present their lies to him when they visit him. They do not tell him that uh, the wife of uh, 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 a took picture with Okay, They do not tell him. Namdeka did not listen to the national interview of Aloy Ejimako. He never listened to it. There is no phone. There is no chance to take phone with. To take phone inside there. So how do you now conclude that Namdeka is supporting them? Because his legal team was removed. Now ask yourself, why was a Jofo not removed from IPOB? As IPOB lead cancer. Now you understand what the, the family presented. They presented that we, cons we are not, we don't want him out through lawyers, right? Now, he saw the achievement of the lawyers. Do you understand? And he cannot call the leadership direct. It's still message by message, and there is no blame there. That's the enemy's agenda. Keep him 
separate him. That is the agenda. That's why they kidnap him. They kidnap him. Uh, they did not kidnap him so that he will be there and be handling issues. No, they kidnap him so that he will be away. So if it is playing out, stop, stop saying, now leadership should find a way to start communicating him. That's the enemy's agenda. One day. They will play it on it will mature. Then what is the trust of Kano? He know that whether he's been communicated or not being communicated, that you can never allow the struggle to die. This is his stand. That is why you can see him talking without even communicating you. He know what he kept. Then you that is not believing activities of people outside his knowledge, think, saying that he's the one who told them. How do you trust him? You never trusted him. If you trust him, you know that he never complicate issues. When they fell was when we there was no source of our reply over their allegation, over their their fake memo. We no longer believe in their memo. They no longer bring memo. They no longer give press release. Because we will analyze their press release. Lies must be there. Then how can you now set confusion in IPOB if you cannot come out and say, come back again and say, Onion do said. You know if you say it, we don't believe it. That's when we cut off their hands. So Onion do have the right to remove his to change legal team, but he cannot be in DSS and change IPOB legal team. This is where you must know that he knows what he's doing on the foundation of IPOB. He knows it. He knows that his sibling can bring wrong information and he may take wrong decision based on where he is. But on IPOB, there is no way the leadership will allow you to destroy. The, the IPOB with your false information, even if you change your face to Nam Kano, he believes that hence you bring it to IPOB, they will look into it. They will know if that thing is real or wrong. So he trusted that and the leadership is doing it. Who I am talking to now is you or me who may tomorrow come Who may come tomorrow and say, but Onyendu should say something. One person resigned and say, Onyendu did not condemn this man. Why have he not come up now and condemned this in any way reason? Shabako condemned this. Nika na condemn. Onyendu na condemn gil. Ozi ilozo tizi. Ima no freedom fighter ne. Ima no leader. Ima no international figure unam de kami. You don't know. You think in American is in Kuji? He used to invite us into Kuji. He would treat our matters. We will go. Some people that their children are, even the woman, the, the Nigeria, that the child was affected with the uh, tear gas. They also went to Kuji to present the child to Kano. So many people that have Gulen Wood. There are some people, their matter went to Kuji. In American, handle their matter. There are some coordinators issue that then I'm going to invite all of them to Kuje. So he was in Kuje like Nigeria saw it that he was a freed man. So they don't want to give him such a chance. So this thing you are seeing now is the reason why he's in Kuje, in, in DSS. So that there will be a little bit doubt. So that you will allow yourself to be manipulated with activities with contrary activities of siblings. And you still want him to cut off his siblings or cut off their head. You are dreaming. Even when he's out, he will not do anything on, to them. Because they were defending their brother. What they presented to him is their love for him, which he knew already. But oh, uh, outside world, what they are playing here, we are the people that will tell our leader what they played in his absence. And our leader knows that you cannot allow any of their life to affect the IPOB. Because when he was here, he never allowed their life, the life of his siblings, to affect the IPOB. He taught you this things that it does not belong to his family. It does not belong to him. It belongs to all of us. That's why he is the one who owns himself. He can sack his legal team, but he does not sack IPOB legal team, legal counsel, or lead counsel like a Jofo. 
Because IPOB does not belong to him. Does not belong to his family. The leadership knows the good work of Ejofo. They return him. Namdekanu decided and changed his legal team. That is how to tell you that he knows that IPOB will be guided and protected. Is that where? Thank you. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, we continue. We must continue. You are just joining. Because after all the analysis and the same thing we are explaining, somebody is here to ask it. That is stupidity to me. It doesn't matter the age of the person. These are the same people that will come and listen to food brokers. After listening to it, they will ask you, what are you taking? But you listen with your ear. You are asking them the kind of why. But why is Namdekano actually agreed? Because you have never been in tension before. I've been in tension for years. If you don't know. If you don't know, you will know it that your things will be destroyed. They will destroy your business, destroy everything, sack your wife, sack your senior apprentice, your brothers or your siblings. They will close your account to sell your free station. Because IPOB is an organization. That's why we guide it. If you have time, you know, but why is not they can is no, he will not believe his sibling. He will not be, he will kill them. If they are the only source of him communicating, he will avoid them. Even if your wife is pregnant to come and visit you after two years you are in detention, you will allow her if she's the only source of giving you message. It is, it is you that knows the business you have with him. You will not release that money to his siblings until he comes out. That, your, that is your agreement with him. But uh, as a foolish idiot you are, in my absence, they will come and tell you, give me money, give me money. You will give them money because they lied with my case. And you are not wrong. Because you want me to be out. These are things somebody in detention sees. I have witnessed this for years. I was decided and acquitted. I have to me here in the MBG. Ebidomo wanishi me ma ihe umga. Umga is very very dangerous. Very very dangerous. That's why you are there so that you cannot handle your matters. They did not keep you there so that everything you kept will be okay. They kept you there so that you have damages. That's why, that is the reason of detention. You are detained so that things will be damaged for you. People will not handle your things the way you handle it. Your enemies who cannot penetrate you will look for a source to penetrate the flexible ones around you. That is why you are in detention. In my own case, I traveled back home and submitted myself to the police. I just said, yeah, keep keep because I don't want to lose my village. Right? Adam Apama. Had I run, had it been I ran away, <laughs> you'll be, you continue to be run away until you have case in that place. You are, you be in detention. From there you die. <laughs> you run away. I say, well, how do you give me allegation in my village? I run a buggy. Let me come back now, submit myself to police, then answer the case.
Then I spent four years uh, with that cry. Uh, with the, I went and learned now because I, I was not in detention with the I'm woman from I'm woman from. I went there to study on a Yama kind of struggle and uh, what I studied because I uh, God doesn't move by pit. God moves by your actions. I'm woman from also one in Nanamute. People are crying everywhere. So if you cry, God will now <laughs> God will now give you everything on everybody is crying. So it is your positive action that God works with. The action you are taking, that is God, the God you are seeing. That positive one. If you do it right, you get it. If you do it wrong, it will fail. So what we are saying is that. Namdekano, IPOB have saved Namdekano. No sibling can save Namdekano. No lawyer can save Namdekano. No son can save Namdekano if IPOB start committing terrorism. If IPOB go contrary. If IPOB go into armed struggle. So the savior of Namdekano is IPOB leadership. Who refuse to give contrary orders? Who refuse to go contrary to IPOB belief? And then Namdekano's grant of self-determination. IPOB leadership, how do we go contrary to it? Nobody can save, can happen here on Yablana Maliele. Ah, we want to free him around our bag. You will free Nam Kano if we allow our name to remain in the terrorist list. If we Kano Makani Wonyara. Don't you know that terrorists, terrorists, no international community will come for you. But if you attack terrorists as a freedom fighter, don't you know it's different? People don't even know when they are wrong. On things that they call you a thief is different that this man is a thief. Okay, don't you see people they used to call thief? Do they thief? But how do you always see a thief? Don't you know that the immediate you see a thief, he look at you, he discover you are you know he's a thief, his conscience dies. But somebody you say he's a thief, who never thief, nothing cause happens to his conscience. It doesn't, it's not moved. That's why IPOB keep pushing. They say you are terrorist. It doesn't move me. I did not commit terrorism. But if you commit it, do you, do you think our people will welcome you? You know, people don't know. Hey, uh, Mandela, tell me a freedom fighting group that they did not tag terrorists. Tagging terrorists is different from committing terrorism. Or oh, yeah, tell me, why not ask me? Tell me a freedom fighting, uh, a freedom fighter leader that did, that did not commit terrorism. That's what you ask me. If I do no contrary question, then I don't have a change. Man, negative and positive. Show me a trolley, a freedom fighter that the world know he committed terrorism, and the world was asking for his release. Tell me. Even if you are fighting armed struggle, you should not act terrorism. Even in war, there is genocide. So in war, you keep law of war. Go run away from genocide, then fight war. War is against government property and against the government army. You have nothing to do with the masses. That is war. If you defeat the government, their masses become, the, the, their civilians, they become under your control. So if you cannot defeat the army, you start killing civilians, that means you want to desolate the land. But war is defeat the army, defeat the authority, then these people become your slave. But the Gowan went and started killing us instead of challenging the army. That is genocide. A land that's in blockade, bombardment. So in freedom fighting, there is rules. So you do not fight anyhow because you want to get your freedom. No. Now in Russia, you see what they are doing. They still mind people. If you throw bomb in the wrong place, though that is war. They will say, no, 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 you, he's wrong. Russia is wrong, but it's war. But to idiots here that say they're fighting for Biafra, they don't care. If they give news that uh, they cut off somebody's head, they say, yes, uh, we are doing something. Don't, don't you know that Mandela was, was not a terrorist, but he was tagged terrorist? Listen, tagging you terrorist is different from you being a terrorist. To call you terrorist is different from you committing terrorist. And the world knows you are a terrorist one day you are gone. But to tag you terrorist, that is useless to me. 
What is my business that you call me a thief? Did I thief you? That is where Namdi Khan is defeating them. But they sent criminals to come and say, well, I'm not afraid to be called terrorists. Then when they added IPOB in the list of terrorists on what the criminal in Finland committed by enforcing it at home, IPOB challenged that thing. We never had them come and claim it. They did not call IEP and say, amend the I Global Tourism Industry Report 2022 to 2023, remove IPOB from number 10 and add us. Add me. Add me, Simon Eber. It's me. I want to be called terrorist. He ran away and dodged. Right? And you think if we leave it, leave our name in that list, that anybody will call Nigeria and say free Kano. Don't you know that terrorist does not have lawyer? Do you think they will leave him in DSS? They will tell you he's no longer in DSS. He has been shifted to Kuje prison, to another detention facility because they had an intel from the National Intelligence Agency that over 3,000 ESN have arrived at Abuja. That's what they will tell you. From there, they will use punch and tell you what Namdekanu said. Hey, Namdekanu is about to denounce Biafra. Hey, Namdekanu have said there is no more ESN. Hey, Namdekanu have disbanded ESN. They will now use BBC and start telling you who Namdekanu is. Don't you know one action will take now? They will take changing from that vegetation facility. They have the right. When they set the trap, we knew. I am passing the onion. For that, no one is using a man and a man bonding rubber on it. Money will allow people to keep up direct on that question. And if we want him to be to be dismantled from Kujé, we we take an action contrary to what we believe. Nigeria Negi News Life. Do you understand? So these are things we know. I will complain, I will continue to explain it to our people and I will still give them a short um, video of this, their idiocy of not knowing the rules. Election have rules. War have rules. Football have rules. You play rough, they will play whistle. The, the freedom fighting, there are spectators watching you. There are referees, there are last men. Don't think you are just fighting freedom without people watching you. That is it. So you must maintain the law. You must maintain the rule of the option you choose as we choose self-determination. We do not attack prison detention, uh, a detention facility. We go through the court. In armed struggle, you will attack detention facility. You don't go to court. In armed struggle, you will call for no election. But in self-determination, you call for election boycott. Understand this thing. These are different statements. Boycott is that you decided on your own not to attend a meeting. Though you receive message. Though you have voter's card. But you didn't vote. That is boycotting election. Boycotting a meeting. Not that somebody point a gun at you. If you attend that meeting, I will kill you. It was by force. It was somebody stop you from going to the meeting. It wasn't willingly. Now it is against the democratic process, which is you are against referendum. If you do not allow people to decide and boycott and you are enforcing them, the same way you will not allow people to vote for Nigeria during referendum. So you will not be granted referendum. Hence, you are calling for an election. But if you call for election boycott, then you are on line with a on a referendum route. You are in line maintaining your self determination. These are things we know, and we maintain them. If you call for an election, you will not be granted referendum because during your referendum, people that believe in Nigeria that are in your territory will also vote for Nigeria. So the world believe that. That referendum, you will not allow Nigeria to get a vote. That is contrary to referendum. In referendum, it must be balanced. Two ballot boxes. Those that believe in Nigeria. And what will make your referendum to be legit is the opponent voting. Opposition voting. That is what makes it legit. That's why some people say, we are doing online referendum. I say, you are a fool, you are an idiot. Where do people vote for Nigeria? So only you will vote. Only you will count. 
Only you observe and only you give result. You are an idiot. You will perform. You are not Pama. Imagine you declare I'm strong. I'm not going to defend them. Now we are doing people that have no basis. We call for the election. We are going to enforce it. You call for the election. You are talking about the freedom. Ibonyara. You enforce it at home. You you call for the freedom. In Abara. IPOB call for sit at home, they don't enforce it. That is to say they can be granted a freedom. If you don't know what to, IPOB launch security outfit, send them in the bushes, they don't operate in communities. That is to say we maintain self-determination, we can be granted a freedom. Somebody that declared Armstrong will start telling you, we have a freedom convention in Finland. Don't you know that name will rule to Ebenine? After the same thing. After all, travel is travel. Okay, you are an idiot. That place does not lead to Enugu. But close to Gaba Eh, Abacha, I am Bazi Balegos, Sizelegos, Bazi, Sizori, Bazi, Ba, Ba, Ibarina Mutu, Ibazi Onecha, Ibazi, and Abiabazi Uchi, and Abiabazi Uta, a man, a idiot. Ebima who's a look. The Chega Legos, Galegos, the Chega, the Jagab, the Unitary Game Luga, the Nugu, Abalamote, Nugu, Sian, or Buchag, or Tom Morgan, or Tom Chag, or Buzag, or Legos. There is a road, there is freedom fighting is optional. We maintain our own, not cowards. They kill us, we maintain it, we know it's the option. Our anger is when they leave IPOB protesters and go inside community. Start killing people we have come to save. That's why we are angry with this infiltrator. They will come and shoot in a junction, the army will drive inside that community and burn down the community, throw bomb, and these people will not come. It is an instigation. Instigation, I'm telling you, certain confusion. They will bring us into our land. These things we dodge, this thing, everything we dodge and gave our people safety was what government told them to come with. Do you understand? So, what we are doing is not that we become known, popular, or get money nonsense. We have, we are doing this because God himself, Chukwu Kikabi Amara in heaven, have determined that we should come and do this. And that is what we are doing. That's why we refuse to play the part that Nigeria knew. What they know is a rough in the field. So that there will be fight. The match will be cancelled. Nigeria never, they don't want the match to be finished. They want this, our goals, we call them, they want the extraordinary rendition goals to be cancelled. They want the federal high court, the IP court goal to be cancelled. They want the state high court goal to be cancelled. They want every goal, because hence you fight in the match. The match cancelled, your goals cancelled. But IPOB avoided it. They sent criminal to be shouting no election with the name of somebody that is fighting for self-determination. And fighting for freedom through self determination. They say no, for, no, uh, they're enforcing it at home with the name of somebody. It is contrary to what he presents. It is contrary to what he's fighting for. Though you say it is freedom, but it is contrary to what he signed. This is what IPOB maintains. This is what saved the Nam Khan. Because we make sure we maintain. In armed struggle, why are we going to court? I don't know. What am I doing here in armed struggle? Where I am is self-determination. On Twitter is self-determination. But people that are in armed struggle, we are dragging the media with them. Armed struggle, do you see? Do you drag media with ESN? Do you drag it? Security that is fighting terrorists. Is it not we civilians that will decide and bring out the video of ESM through the ESM media? What ESM media does is to keep records. It is the duty of the command of ESM, which is IPOB, 
to pull out any video they like and publish to the world. Then, that is how to do Armstrong. Do you drag media with ears and no? But these criminals, they say the army. If somebody come out, they carry the gun, he kill army and carry, say, they will be on video, they will be videoing, they will be talking. One is not how to do arm struggle. If we are arm struggle here, eh, it's the enemy that will come and video us, not me. I cannot be fighting war, be videoing myself. It is the media that will cover what you are doing. Need media will come and cover what you are doing, not me. Do I have time to cover it? Our media will cover it to record for record purposes. It is when the enemy posts the wrong one, who will post this three one to counter it. If the enemy come with propaganda, we will release that video because we know what happened there. That is how it is done. But this one, I'm struggle every time they are talking, they are on broadcast, they are this, they are, we are dragging media with them. If we are an armed struggle, we don't go to court for freedom and they can. If you have watched war film, you will know that if they capture your commander, you will plan, you yourself, you will plan, the army will plan, discover where he was kept or where he is kept, then sacrifice themselves to go and free their commander. Their commander cannot be taken to court. This is armed struggle. They will be doing the commander caricature there. Do you understand? Because they capture him. The duty of his men is to plan to go and rescue him and sacrifice themselves to free him. That is armed struggle. But this one, people that deceive you, they started killing our people in Biafra land. They tell you to free Namdekano that is in Abuja. They will burn down Keke. Namdekano is not in that Keke. They burn down motorcycle. Nam the can is not in that motorcycle. They will kill a Biafra and take his car. The car they take, they took. Nam the can is not there. They will throw away okro. Nam the can is not there. They enter school and lie down our teachers. Nam the can is not in that school. They flog our school pupils. The, the Nam the can is not there. Do you understand the game? They never go to where he is. That is I'm sorry. You break there, you die with the enemy. Now, the enemy capture our leader. And the enemy believe in God. Because they have lied them much. And they are defending their lives with God. And the Nigeria is the foundation of lies. So, he needs violence to defend it lies. Because if everybody is normal, people will question Nigeria. But with God, those who need to question Nigeria will be quiet. But IPOB came with the question in Nigeria, with our, through our own platforms, not them publishing our question. We published it by ourselves. That's how we was able to confront Nigeria. They tried to show out gun. We told them we don't have gun. They killed us. We said we don't have gun. We know that's the pattern they know how to do. If they kill you, they will lie. They say you are the one who killed them. We refuse to join them in that. We hold on on a positive weapon. Because to challenge lies is truth. You don't challenge lie with lies. So Nigeria is the foundation of lies. Nigeria gave us, uh, God gave us truth, which is Radio Biafra. Then we confront Nigeria and this is where they are. They keep shooting, killing us. They never argued us. That's how we defeated them. If you show them gone, they have friends. They will call their friends. Their friends will come and kill you. Because their friends believe in your oil. They are country friends. So they can wipe us out because of our oil. But to this way we are fighting, we now drag Nigeria to the presence of their friends and open the crimes of Nigeria before their friends. And from there, some of their friends are leaving them. From there, some of the people they lie to that believe them, that love them, have now hated them. But with the sound of God, those people cannot separate from Nigeria because even your sound of God cannot be hard.
from that your community. But our self-determination approach through media and some other ways, we can approach a government, we can approach a president, we can approach organization. But the gun you shot in Okigwe, nobody will hear it in Germany. Nobody will hear it in EU. Nobody will hear it in UN. This is a battle we need to fight Nigeria and that is what IPOB is doing. We have done it here. We saw how they cover up the news. They don't allow the news to go out. They don't, they cover our paper fathers here. Our fathers was on defense. And this time around, they want to put us in defense. We said no. You see this Nigeria? We will drag them to the open. See where we took Nigeria? Open field. Everybody is now seeing them. This is a battle our God sent us to do. One if you show Nigeria gone, one day. People don't know a lie that have lasted 110 years. Lie. 1914 to 2024. 110 years. Igoshi Don't you see how they come to our land? This is just testing. Why is the military everywhere? Because they are stealing from your land. Amroba cannot allow you to relax. Your land must be under siege. But uh, why is there a judging point not in the north? They are not stealing from the north. The white people are not stealing from here. Even the white people that are taking our resources, you know they sponsor Nigeria I mean, to, to clamp us down. Don't you know that uh, these very foreign companies, Oil, Shell, all of them, they sponsor Nigeria army to put our land under siege? Because the Nigeria will approach them, say, you will support the army. If not, this people you know this is their oil. That is why you, they can never remove checking point because they come to rob you. So your land must be under siege. Your land will not be under siege because they are not there is nothing they are robbing from them. So that's why our people learn to our land to be freed from this um, uh, to be free from being siege of uh, national army and police and the other torture. It can never happen. It can never happen. If there is no army, how can they take their, your oil and go? If there is no police. Don't you know one day you will block the government? One day you go to that place and pursue the workers. So not that they are just some you. They will shoot your brother at your presence. <laughs> so that the day you will try to make noise. You remember how they kill your cake? Do you understand? Because they cannot be looking at you. They know they are robbing the people that came to robbery. It's do or die now. They shoot you to take your resources. Isn't it? Thank you. That's it. Turn Biafra against IPOB. Turn Biafra against Namkano. Turn Biafra against ESN. So that they will, <laughs> will now become, Nigeria army will now become savior of our people. IPOB will now become the victim. IPOB that have come to save. Nigeria want to turn us to... <laughs> so that I've been, what will be happening. Nigeria Army, we, we have saved the, the people of Owere from IPOB. Hey, Nigeria Army, congratulations. We have saved the people of Omaha from IPOB. Congratulations. Uh, although it's now free from IPOB, ESN terrorism. That's what you would have been hearing. I told our people then, 2022. Nigeria Army want to turn to the people that are rescuing us. In Akoroha, can I support criminals? Something they have tried to achieve through IPOB, we said no. This is something we know what we are doing. You don't joke with the lives of about 80 million people with a trial. In Akata, you play a rough. When you know that any rough you play that will not give you at least two goals or resort to one goal at least even if somebody is giving you a yellow card you have scored goal right and the people are playing this ball or this game without knowing that the british is putting on the jc but the jc is of nigeria though the jc is nigerian jc who is putting on the jc the british look at their legs look at their hands does that look like the hand of nigeria does that look like, like the legs of Nigeria? If yes, why have they abandoned their citizens in Namde Khan? That's why some people come and tell you, take action, take action, it's a little bit. Action in Agapa Dabo Jade. 
I shall not be a friend and the IPOB have saved. Could not be take action. What action have the British taken? The British that is his father. If you have never think like that, you will not know that Namkan is fighting for freedom. You will think that you can just do anything and get freedom. A man who knows the road to freedom, Namdekan, he knows British is keeping him. He have destroyed the British. And you think that if you kill your brother in Amajeke, British will now free Namdekan. Then you ask yourself, why did they send the army here? Is it not to kill you? So, why is it, do you think that if you help them to kill your people that Namdekanu came to save, so they will free Namdekanu to come and save those people? No. They will keep Namdekanu in detention so that you keep killing those people he came to save. A very simple thing because that's what the army and the police have been doing here. So, IPOB exposed them. Nigeria want to hide and use your own citizens to be killing you with the name of Biafra detention. So if the enemy is killing us and you are killing me with the name of Biafra and the enemy is killing me to stop Biafra and you is killing me with the name of Biafra are you not the same with the enemy? I'm asking enemy is killing me because they want to stop Biafra and you claim to be fighting for Biafra you are not killing me and they ask you say you are fighting Nigeria army is it not stupidity? Their barracks are intact a two division in Nugu but are intact 103 battalion in Nugu, intact. Onicha, intact. Okiwe, intact. Uwere, Obinze, intact. 14 brigade of Hafia, intact. 144, uh, 144 Asa, intact. All their barras, Abakaliki, intact. Afibo, intact. All these barras, honey, in Zuterezu. If you have no same name, I'll say, i you go to the junction and shoot a gun. The army will drive there with their mob car and destroy the community and nobody will see you. It is called instigating trouble and the setting confusion. So our people, as we are rounding up, let us go back to the point. Stop blaming or being against Namdekano over activities of siblings he has no knowledge of. The few of his decisions was based on the information he received. And he is in detention. The enemy know that if he's in Kuje prison, that you will come there to tell him exactly what happened. So they keep him in DSS, where there will be selective visitors that can be convinced by the enemy. Understand this. Because the majority of his visitors are not IPOB members, just siblings and lawyers. But if he's in Kuje, IPOB members will come. Understand this. Right? So sibling is there. They are there as brothers. They play brother. Then IPOB is playing freedom fighting. And he leads us. You cannot separate him from the siblings, but you can only block the siblings with their negativity against IPOB. Because their activities outside is not what they do in DSS. If they go to DSS, they become loyal, they become obedient, they become good one. They live the life and them they can know them with few. They become more good, right? So that their presentation will be welcomed. But Namdekanu became more confident when they have come with so many lies to him earlier. With the replies IPOB leadership gave back to our leader, he now understood what was happening. Some of the messages that you see Kanon are holding on, DOS do you know that DOS have replied on him for long and they never repeated that matter you went and lied with the false information he makes decision based on what you presented with the trust and you are the one you are the source of his information and then also passing out information he will not give it to dss he will give it to the people he see 
So now when you come out and deliver the message, the leadership now see that it is contrary to what they discuss with the Kano. They will say no. They will now reply Mazenam the Kano. He will now understand where the problem is coming from. He will now he will not repeat it again. Ask them why is it that he never tell them to return a on radio? Why is it that everything they have been saying, anyone the US replied, then there was a job for them? Why is it that they never go back with it our leader again? Because the reply will come with the language our leader understands. And he will quit from that one. So the experiences our leader is having in detention is a very, very tough experience that he don't decide on every issue. As you expect him to make such a pronouncement, he cannot do it because it is all them say. And with from few people, not majority, few people that can, uh, that can communicate him there. They are the people that bring these messages. And there are the ones he need to hear from the leadership direct. And there are ones he need to hear from other people he trusted direct. But in Kujet, those people cannot come there. Now you understand that you only take stand on what you discuss with him on the IPOB. And never judge him with the activities of Sebelem because they never tell him what they are doing outside. They discuss with him. They will come and write another thing because all the road, they never go there with food. If one of them come to defend it, you ask him, where is the, the um, interview of Age of um, Age Marco? Did you not begin to listen to it? No. Did you not begin to listen to it? But you go and they give press release. So the question they will ask you in that interview, was it in Amdekan that wrote it and gave to them? The answer is no. Was it in Amdekan that was asking the lawyer, Age Marco, the, the question? The answer is no. This is a Nigerian national television presenter asking you a question. Now you answer it, and I will be listening to it. Had that it is contrary to what we are doing within Namdekan. And you try to tell us that you know what you are doing because you are a lawyer. Do you know that Namdekan will know that even in his absence, that IPOB will counter any contrary to what we believe? Do you know that Namdekanu believes that even if he made wrong decision uh, based on the information they gave to him, that if the message goes out and it is contrary to what IPOB is doing, that the leadership will not allow it. He's aware. He is aware, strongly believe. He has been with the leadership. He has even sent messages when he was outside that the leadership Stop. Said no. They need to explain to him. There are things he will decide. He don't know much. That, that thing, there are much secret. Somebody knows on what is happening in that area. They will now call him and explain very well to him. He will now investigate more and decide. There are things he will decide to do and pass it to them. They will look into it and say, do this one get me here. They will give him reason, he will drop it. So he trusted them that even in his absence, that even if from him, if they, he decided on wrong information, that the leadership would not allow it. Now the canon knew. And it's a problem to canon Ta and Meme. They can never allow it. Now the canon knew that even in his presence, the leadership will not allow wrong decisions. That's why the leadership have no knowledge of his thought, his movement to Kenya. They would have stopped it again. When they explain to him, he will understand. That's how they run IPOB. He has never been in Namoha. So, based on this, he knows that even in his absence, the leadership will maintain. So, if you see IPOB leadership maintaining their stand on many things, know you that you should not be so emotional with messages from those that visited Namdekano, which Namdekano is not aware. Even in the palace, can Emmanuel Kano come and lie to you that Onyendu said 
He had been a liar. And when onion do hear it, he will say, What? Why? When did I say that? I did not say so. In his presence, in Namdekanism Palace, a man I can lie with his name. Koro Koro. Now, what do you expect in his absence? If he's the one who will visit him, what do you expect? Now, to, for you to know that IPOB is very strong. But it's a Jofo was removed from Namdekano's council team, right? But a Jofo remains IPOB lead council. Understand the game. To Kanonta, a Jofo supposed not to come closer. Are you understanding? But Nam the Kanu knew that IPOB is an organization. He can decide on his own legal team, but in detention, he cannot decide on IPOB legal team. Now you understand the basis of our argument. If Nam the Kanu sack his league team, legal team, who secured the surgeon acquitted, through the lies from his siblings, he knows it's for him alone. Right? He knows it is for his case. It is not against IPOB. But in IPO, on IPOB legal council, legal team, he cannot tamper it from there. That's where you're supposed to know that Namdekano is a strong man. IPOB leadership know, is maintained that a job for remains IPOB lead council. Namdekano will not argue it. He knew these things. So our people should control themselves, don't fall into the trap of the enemy by big, somebody may deceive you. Now, nah, is it, it, maybe is, there is something that the is hiding from us. This one, the sibling is doing like this, he's not saying anything. Oga, <laughs> ever direct on of the serious. If he's not in Kuche, he's still in DSS on a very tight corner. Don't judge him with the activities of people that visited him. Hold on on what you discuss with him. He can never disappoint. But people who wronged him will be trying to play things as if in, in attempt to defend their crimes. So they keep fighting. Because the people that will present their crimes is IPOB leadership. So they want IPOB leadership to be out of the way. So that even if you are outside, you cannot be explaining to Kanu from outside IPOB. But if you are inside IPOB and you have the position to explain to Kanu, you will go. So that's why Emmanuel Kanu, their last mission is to remove those that will tell Nam Kanu what they did. You may be outside saying it, Nam Kanu will not take it much so than those that are inside telling him. And especially those that have are in the normal position to tell him. You know, you may be telling him, but that is not the office. But he valued those that the information will come from the person that is in that office. So let nobody deceive you about trust in leadership. Let me remind you what is trust. To Namde Khan. Namde Khan may trust his family members based on family issues. But on the, our freedom fighting issue, he never trusted them. Reason, none have been appointed to any office in IPOB. Another reason, they have no, they can never log into Radio Biafra. You have no access to Radio Biafra. Namde Khan did not trust you. You cannot sign IPOB memo. Namkan did not trust you to the people that can sign the memo. You cannot, um, you are not the media and publicity secretary who can sign what IPOB said. Oga, you can never be trusted to like that people. You may be trusted on family issues, but you see somebody that is holding something that is almost like the life of Namdekan, Radio Biafra. Those people that can log into Radio Biafra, those people that are in charge of Radio Biafra, those people that give our broadcast a slot, one, they are the most trusted. Those people, that man 
that can sign memo after Namde Kanu gave announcement on Radio Biafra, either sack or expel or anything, that man that heads DOS that will sign memo is most trust is one of the most trusted. That man that will sign what IPOB said, somebody that cannot compromise, somebody that know that if you sign if you sign a press release that um, implicates IPOB, that is fine, and the world will take it. With the kind of mind Canon Tanko have, if you give them that position of media and publicity secretary, what they will publish will bring damage to IPOB for next 20 years. So if you want to witness trust from Onam the Kano, on Biafra freedom fight, you know, not in family issues. It is when they go to their family, Meme and the Kanonta, and their wives, and their uncle. That's when they will be talking, do you know that the Kanon trust me more than you? Not in IPOB issue, because he never trusted any member of the family to compare to Mazo former. Those that knows about Radio Biafra, and some of them there. He never trusted any member of the family to compare to Emma Poafu. That signs what the whole people said. If he never, he may trust you in the family issue, he can never trust you to Mass Tigre or anybody that will be head of the Red of State that will sign IPOB memo. That is where trust basis. He can never trust you to somebody that is in commanding ESN. He can never trust you. Somebody that can, is commanding ESN. Commander of ESN. He only gives Namdekano report, Namdekano general commander. This thing you will notice today in the absence of Namdekano that China is always in charge. He has been there. That is his position. That's why he can give you account of your village. These are people that give them the kind of accurate report of what is happening in that place directly, Mazina Samoru, direct information. Of what is happening there. And then I'm going to tell you that is what is happening there. Immediately. He will tell you on Radio Biafra. These are the people. Mm, these are the people that was calling in Nam Kano, Sending him message or, while on broadcast. About the concert. That forced him to, bro to, to stop the broadcast. Nam Kano is the general. He's not the one that sees. That, that is doing those things. Men. Uh, discover the bushes, men clear bushes, men organize things, men organize men. He only get report what is happening in Enugu from that commander. Tuna Samur. He get report in what is happening in Enugu from that commander. That's why his absence. He know that place is intact already. This person was not appointed in his absence. That is his position in the presence of Nam Dekano. You can never, no member of the family can be trusted to, can be trusted by Namdekano to compare with the Machina Samoru. Do you know what it means to trust somebody and hand him over people that has gone? Do you know what it means? So when they want to deceive some people to cover up their account, they tell you, and now they kind of trusted members of the family uh, uh, more, more than any other, but yes! On family issues, if you go to your house, you can say, A man, I cannot, none they cannot trust me. Uh, cannot, none they cannot trust me. That's why I carry bags for him. In IPOB, one, you are not a coordinator, you are not a welfare, you are nothing, you are not a unit coordinator, you are nothing. No member of the family of Nam Dekano can be compared to a last unit coordinator of IPOB in the issue of our freedom. But on family issues, no problem. So if Meme Kano can lie with the name of Nam Dekano while he's in the palace, while he was in the palace, how do you trust message from Meme? Now Nam Dekano is in detention. That is where I'll be rounding up my program. Kano, look at what I wrote there. Onyendu is in the mountain praying. Then we are still looking for the trust. Trust is Radio Biafra. Trust is access to Radio Biafra. Trust is access to Biafra Television. Trust 
is access to ESN. Trust is access to IPOB Media and Publicity Secretary. Trust is access to signing memo of IPOB issued by the IPOB leadership. And that is where I'll be bringing the program to an end. I remain the fellas IPOB evangelist, Mazen Madam Chumachuku. From me, from here, it is good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later, Mary Mary. What about I met a programmer?